my peanut gallery. Um, <laughs> next week is my birthday, and for my birthday, I decided that I wanted two barn cats. So, my neighbor had a lead on a gal that had some cats that were uh, that she takes in for adoption, and she deworms them and gets them all squared away and healthy, and then and they're usually feral rescue cats um, or cats that have been abandoned. Um, so I'm getting two brothers that are mostly black. Um, they have a little bit of patchiness to them, but they're mostly black. Um, and they're about nine weeks old. One of them is more feral than the other one, um, according to the gal, um, because he was found after the first kitten was found. So he's a little bit more like, jump back, Jack. But the other one's more like, hey, I'll let you hold me, you know. So this is going to be the pen, which is uh, used as basically like <laughs> as a mouser or, to, you know, to catch gophers, squirrels, small rabbits, keep them out of your garden, uh, keep them from eating your chicken and turkey feed, things like that. Um, get the rats that try to get in there. Uh, yeah, oh, we know, guys. Um, so, they're very excited right now. They just ate, so they're like, um, so Mike just locked me in our pen. We've put baby chicks in here. We've had, um, what else did we have in here? We had a hodgepodge of things in here, as far as birds go. <laughs> Um, but these were originally dog kennels. Uh, the gal that owned the property before us had dogs, and she um, raised dogs, and she had separate kennels. But they serve a lot of, you know, good purpose. So I'm going to set this up. You need a home base when you get a barn cat uh, because they need a place to, first of all, be penned in for a while so that they know that they're safe and this is home and that this is where they're going to come back to. Um, and then um, they also um, need a place for you to keep their food and water um, or when, when you do start letting them out um, when they get a little older. Um, like what I'll do, for example, is I'll let them out when I'm out on this side, then I'll pen them back up. I'll let them out, pen them back up until they're old enough to be fixed. Um, I won't let them roam the property free. Once it's been set for like six to eight weeks of being penned up, um, then they can roam the property at will and they will come back and put themselves up at night. Um, we have Mama Kitty, of course, who still is on the property, but um, she's probably, by our best estimate, is probably about 18 years old. So we're thinking, you know, she might have another year or two left in her, but... What's your game plan for that? For what? For that. How are you, gonna, how are you planning on walking this? Keep them in here. I thought that was open. It's not open. Look. I checked all this. I was going to say, it's not open. I checked all this today when I swept this out. He thinks he knows stuff. He doesn't know. I checked all this. I swept all this out because there was bedding in here. Okay, so what do so you have to do then? This spot right here. I told you there's only one spot. This is all covered, and that's all covered. Grab me that green thing. Green thing. So anyway, back to pending them up. There are slats on the top because this was originally for dogs. So when we've used it for birds and things, we've put some aviary netting up. And obviously for the cats, we don't want them to be able to climb up and get out and out. So I'm going to staple that first and then we can cut it and pen the other side. Strong, but I'm still little. That's when I do it.
So we're just closing this gap here so that the cats can't get out unless we want them to get out. So they'll only be able to get out through the door when we let them out. And then once they're, you know, once they've been fixed and once they've been penned in for that amount of time, then they can roam free and eat all the rats and squirrels and gophers and rodents and whatnot that they want. And they'll be friendly. I mean, we'll make sure that, you know. You have whatnots out here? <laughs> they're very athletic. So one of the other reasons that I'm getting the cats now too, and we lucked out because usually she has a waiting list to get her adopted cats or her cats out for adoption. Um, <coughs> but when I called her the other day, she just happened to have two ready to go that nobody wanted. And, um, so we've got the little area ready for the the cats we're gonna go pick them up here in just a little bit um she's expecting us at about five i'm very excited <laughs> so are the birds. So are the birds. Um, I've never actually had kittens before. All the cats that I've had, I've only had two. I had Jaden, which we had for like 12 years, basically. But she was already about five or so when we got her. Um, and she just passed away this last spring. And then uh, Mama Kitty we inherited with the house. So um, this is the first time I'm going to have kittens that I'm going to get to bond with a little bit and let them roam the property. So this is a new experiment for me. So we'll see how this goes, but I'm also hoping that Mama Kitty and them get along okay. We'll see how that goes. Need to come in or out? Out in. So let's let Jack out first. He's the more feral. He was found a couple weeks after. And this is Maxwell. He's a little bit more friendly in theory. But there's still a little. Sounded like he hissed to he me. Did. He did. He did hiss. I don't know how friendly that is. It's because it's his first time. Mommy gets cats got fever and she just gets looked at by a cat. No, she doesn't. She's going to play with the feral cats. <laughs> you want to get them used to me? You know, it's hard to see. They're mostly black cats, so <laughs> in a now setting sun, it's a little hard to see them. But there they are. I will pet mine. <laughs> so that one's Maxwell, as in Maxwell Silver Hammer. And that one's Jack, as in Jack Daniels. What's up, Jack? Jack is the more feral of the two. He's more wild. Oh, well, I don't think they like that big bright light in my face, baby. Anyway. How do you like it? Do you like the big bright light in my face? 
I don't really. Do you like big bright lightning face? No, not really. So, anyway, so I'm going to let them get settled tonight. I'll come out a little later and check on them and make sure that they've, you know, that they're, I don't know what that was. I should investigate. We should investigate. <laughs> Here, hold this. Point it at mom and stuff. Oh. All right, I'm going to check on the cats. Um, they've had their first night. Let's go check on them. Uh-oh, stop. They're up there. Oh, yep. <laughs> Hi, guys. Well, that's a problem. No. They're stuck. They're not stuck. Yeah, they are. What do you mean they're stuck? They can't get down. Yeah, they can. Really? Yeah. You never heard of cats getting stuck up high? They can climb high, but they, then they can't get down? Really? Yeah. It's, it's a thing. I thought they were just chilling like villains up there. Well, they are, because they got no options right now. We're going to have to fashion a 2 by 4 or something that they can climb up and down or make it so that they can't get on that ledge. Well, you want me to go in or no? Go slowly because this one's partially on the door. Okay. See if I can shoot him. Okay. Are you coming in behind me? Yeah. Hello there. So What's the one with the there? collar is Max. He's supposed to be the more friendly one. The whole feral. I'm thinking he's not. I think she got him mixed up. No. Well, yesterday he was more calm. Today he's not. Um, and the other one is Jack. The one that's a little bit more smoky colored. Um, he's looking at that towel like, what do you think you're about to do, woman? So I get cat scratch fever, so I have to be really careful when handling cats that have claws, um, especially ones that are prone to want to swipe at me. So Mike made me wear gloves, um, although I've never been scratched on the hand, I'm more likely to get scratched on the arm. However, um, I have my handy dandy towel, so I'm going to attempt to um, get one kitten down at a time here. I know. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> I know. It's okay. It's okay. Shit. Alright, hold on. Okay. He's got his little claws hooked in. There we go. Alright. So, oh. did he get you? No, I thought I kind of dropped him. It's all right, he's down. Let him stay down. He's in the right. Yeah, he likes to go under there. Okay, right. so we'll give this one a whirl. This one's was more calm this morning. Let me see. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Jack. I know. So, <laughs> they're definitely feral. They're only nine weeks old, and he's pissed right now. Oh, jeez. And there they go. <laughs> but they did eat last night, <laughs> and they've used their litter box. Um, so, and they've been exploring. So, so far, so good. I'm going to have to check on them in a little while and see if they're back up on that ledge. I'm going to have to find a way to either put some more... Either put some more mesh up there or uh, or just put a two by four up there where they can climb up and down on it. Well, you know what? That's true. We could just put mesh on this side. Right. And then, in theory. Of course, then they're going to be able to get up here. Not if we put a drop down of mesh right there. Right here? Yeah, just put a drop down past the door. This door opens that way anyway. Yeah. And that way they can't get up here. I'll have to add a two by four from here. To here staple some mesh from here down to it and then staple some mesh across here that way if they do climb of course then you know what's going to happen is they're going to be up there <laughs> i know right mm. bummer yeah all right well your your project <laughs> your cats your idea well, your problem <laughs> I didn't anticipate them. I mean, 
I guess if they... You didn't... Go ahead and finish that sentence. Well, you didn't anticipate them climbing? <laughs> no, I anticipated them climbing, but I didn't, like, think it would be a problem for them to, like, get down. It's not that high up. They kind of... They're, like, in training for feralness. Mm -hmm. So I figured it would be okay. I didn't really think it would be a problem, but Mike thinks it's a problem. I'm more worried that they're going to kill me in my sleep. Like, they're going to figure out how to get in the house and kill me in my sleep at this point because they are, like, little rabid animals. <laughs> They're very feral. They're more feral than I anticipated. I will say that. Great. But they're fine. They'll be good. I may have to use them for target practice at some point. No, they're good. They're, they'll they'll calm down. They just need some time. They've had a very rough start in life. So, and the one cat was separate. He was still out wandering for an extra two weeks before they found him. So... Hopefully, it'll be okay. <laughs> hey guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell button so you'll get the notifications when we go live. If you liked this video, make sure you hit that little like button and leave us a comment.